Cat. Yo, what's going on, guys? Hey, this has been a very long time in the making because it has because Steve has been lazy. Hey, shut the fuck up. He's been like, oh. We have to record a podcast. Oh, I'm not in the mood. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've woken up about like five times today because I'm a lazy shit. I'm not lazy, man. I had a hard time sleeping. Actually, you went to bed really. like three o'clock. I slept like a rock last night, to be honest. I slept like a rock. Yeah, that is man. an interesting term. That is the most interesting term I've heard today. Me. I slept like a rock. And I, I was at my work. I, I was working first day, you know? Yeah. Well, and but... that is the most interesting thing I've heard all day today. All right. Well, what? What? Let's, let's get into an, what? What are you going to say? Well, yeah, I was going to say working in retail isn't as interesting as it sounds. Working in retail is... It's fun. really not. It's pretty shit. Uh, yeah. Let's, well, start, I, fine, I, let's start with your story. Let's go with your story. Let's go. There, there were a few gems. There were a few gems. Oops, so sorry. before I get on to the thing I told Stephen, uh, told Justin earlier about, so I got to um, the station. Like, I, I, I arrived at the station where I had to get off and then my work was just around the corner. Anyway, so I get there. So I get off the, st- this, the train. I'm just about to walk down the tunnel, and it's like I just see this Indian guy like full staring at me. Indian? Oh. Yeah. So I'm like, what, what, what's happening here? He's, he was staring at me for a good three or four. And I'm not just talking about like this. Mm-hmm. He was like. <laughs> like pedo rape face. It's like, it's, like he, it's like he recognized me. He's like. <laughs> he's like, hey, it's that racist guy. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like looking at him, and I'm like, he's like, oh. Uh, he's like, what's the date today? Is it the 26th? And I'm like, I don't know. Let me check. And just before, like I saw, yeah, it was the 29th. And just before I was about to answer him, he like walked off. I think Mitch, I think really there was no Indian guy and Mitch was just hallucinating. Maybe yeah, it's like his fantasy or something. He wants to- Maybe that's where Mitch was going to meet like his secret lover. At like the train station, it's gonna be like some sweaty Indian dude. <laughs> Getting raped in the back bathroom. <laughs> it's gonna be like Rakesh. That's um, sad to say. It's gonna be like Rakesh Patel or something like that. And sad what? to say, that's not the only time I had running with an Indian today. Um, the, the next time I was working, like I was actually in the store, and I was like, and this this Indian guy walks in, and I'm like, oh hey, can I help you with anything today? And like, he was like an Indian, but he was like a gay Indian. Wow, that's pretty weird. Yeah, and it, the weirdest thing is hearing an Indian with a gay accent. Yeah, that's, that would be weird. <laughs> it was like, it was like, um, how are you? You know? That's so fabulous. Like that, I was like, I was like, what? The? It was so weird. And he came in asking about pants. And he's like, oh, I, I want the ones that are tight around the, the legs. And I'm just like, what the? It was the weirdest thing ever. And I'm just like, all right. And then halfway through, he gets like a phone call. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm just like awkwardly standing there waiting for him to finish his phone call. While I'm like, okay, so, so you can like measure it between the, like his pants, his thigh line. No. Oh yeah, so, I like that. The only time the tape measure came in play was um, some guy's like, oh, do you have a tape measure? And I'm like, yeah, I gave him a tape measure, and that was the end of the story. So what store do you work at? <laughs> um, just 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 for uh, reasons that I don't want people finding yeah, me. Or, all our block fans. It's a close. It's a close store. Yeah, but what store is the name? What's the name of the store? You know, I can't say that. This, well, to be honest, your 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 Indian fantasy is like it's, it sounds like a porno. It could be like a hardcore <laughs> gangbang in Bangladesh or something like that. <laughs> Bangladesh. <laughs> Gang Bangladesh. We should we should work on that. We should get that. We should get that funding going for that movie. Yeah, you know, it'd be a hit. Check it up. Check it and up then on. they'll be like. Like the guy will like the guy will like jizz and then it'd be like, and then there'll be like Bollywood dancers like whoa. <laughs> That's probably what they make um butter chicken. It's like oh that's not creamy enough. There's a lot of hot Indians in Bollywood. Well yeah, they're not gonna get some like one with like a mustache bigger than mine on it. No, a lot of Bollywood all the men that have like well not all of them but No, they, but they like all the wear a weird mustache. Yeah no, they all have like the real like thick straight Yeah. Well, it's um. I was actually watching a TV show uh, a few weeks ago, and it was all about this guy who goes into um these countries and tries to find out people who like scam. Mm. And um, he went into Bollywood to kind of see if people scam in Bollywood, and lo and behold, people did scam. Obviously. One of the most elaborate ones that um he was there was he would be sitting down at a cafe, like he mm. would honestly bait these these scammers out, and this guy comes up and he goes, "Hey, you want to be in a mo- movie?" And he's like, "Yeah, why not?" You know. So like they basically went there. They did like um. 
line reading and everything. He's like, hey, you got the job. That's absolutely fantastic, you know? And he goes, if, to celebrate the job, we're going to go back to your place. I'm going to party. So they go back to his place and, like, he's sitting around and, like, they're having a few drinks and stuff like that. And this guy brings in, like, a girl. It's like, yeah, and like that. And um, they get a knock at the door and it opens up and it's a policeman. Yeah. He's like, oh, excuse me. She's a, she's a prostitute. And you guys need a drinking license to drink. You know, this is... The, you, and he's like, yeah, you guys are all going to go to prison unless you can bribe me. Oh. And the guy's like, yeah, the guy's like, I don't, didn't do anything wrong, you know. I didn't do anything with a prostitute, and I'm not even drinking alcohol. I don't even need a drinking license. Mm-hmm. I was drinking ginger ale. And he's like, he goes, okay, I've got hidden cameras all over the room. Now, tell me what, is this a scam? And he goes, okay, it's a scam. <laughs> and bloody Indians, you know, they, it was one of the most elaborate traps that the guy, he's been doing, trying to uncover scammers for quite a while. Mm. One, the other ones I saw him do was uh, he went to Jerusalem to kind of um, pick out people who would, like, sell false artifacts. Yeah. And, like, um, it was a whole bunch of... Uh, so I was sort of like, oh, this was, like, the first thing that, like, Jesus put up his ass. Yeah, something like that. It was, like, one of them's, like, um, hey, this is a... Uh, this is from, an, like, a ceramic jar that was around when Jesus was, like, a child. And they're like, okay. And, like, he went through and he goes, oh, this is a roof tile from the 15th century. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a roof tile. Oh, it's a fucking uni rare roof tile. <laughs> but he went over there and he's like, he's like, oh, I, I was like, I bought this for like three hundred dollars. How much is it worth? And the guy's like, well, it's a fifteenth-century roof tile, so it's like a few cents, maybe. <laughs> was it in like a full intact roof tile, or like a quarter? No, it was like a, it was like a shard. Oh, what? <laughs> Stupid as fuck. And he went back the next, like, uh, a few days later, and he was like, hey, you sold me a roof tile. He goes, no, 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 not a roof tile. Earn from Jesus. It's, <laughs> it's a vase. Then, then the, the, the guy just, like, grabbed, like, his holy water out and, like, throw it at him and be like, the power of Christ repels thee. <laughs> Jesus. But they also, had, um, they also had a couple of, um, what do they call them, the Jewish, the rabbis? Oh, yeah. And they had a bunch of rabbis going through, and it's like, hey, if you give us, like, a um, charity, we'll give you a special blessing. So the guy goes, oh, okay, you know, knowing it's going to be a scam, but, like, wait, anyway, hang on, wait, is, is that blessing, like, a bombing from, like, another country? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dick, Justin. <laughs> too political, That's not good. bro. Yeah, it's a bit too political for us. Anyway, but, um, so he's like, hey, uh, all right, so you give us some money, and we'll give you a blessing. How much is it? And he's, it pretty much was, like, $200, um... Like a uh, two hundred pound. That's how much he had to donate to get this blessing. And, like he was like, "Oh, okay." And he walks down, and it's like that man over there. Those rabbis, they're not real rabbis. They scammed you. The Jews. Like, oh, what do you have expect? <laughs> <laughs> but it's like the it's like the holy city, and like tourists get pickpocketed like hell there. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Mm. South Park, mate. South Park. <laughs> South of the Park. Yeah. But um, anyway. anyway. Well, yep. Oh, sorry. Yeah, what? Yeah, my my story, right? Yep. So, sort of like, the other day, I was, like, playing a game, right? As and you do. As, you, yeah. as, as, as we do at, at that game, right? <laughs> That's our job. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Um, job. Yeah, yeah. job. Uh, Abe's, getting, Abe, Abe's Odyssey. I'm not getting molested by Indians. A, Abe, Abe's Odyssey. <laughs> yep. That, that yep. video is already up. Cheers to the peeps that have watched that video already. Yeah, um, four of you. Even though two of them were me, just... Me, me, love you long time. Um, and drank Powerade. Oh, you actually got one. I got Powerade this week, bitches. <laughs> Powerade. I thought you said you didn't get one. I didn't get a Gatorade, but I got uh, Powerade. Fucking novel it. What, what do you official, prefer? Official drink of the All Blacks. What do you prefer? Um, well, both of them are pretty good, to be honest. Which one do you prefer? <laughs> Answer the question. Um... Well, as Powerade is the official sport of uh, a special... F- <laughs> yeah, Powerade is the official sport of the All Blacks. Of, of, of like, Blacks hey, uh, let's, guys, let's go out and play so, a good game um, Powerade. Yeah it's, yeah, it's the official sports drink of the All Blacks. <laughs> and being a New Zealander, I mean, got to say Powerade all the way. Um, okay, so that's why we're not getting um, sponsored by Gatorade. It's the same fucking company, dipshit. Oh, excuse me? What's 
What's your language? What's your language? What's my language? You fuck with? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, drink, drink, uh, power raid. Um, but also, also, if, you if you're not a new right. power raid, there's what? also Gatorade as well. Oh wow! Do you have like a fucking stockpile <laughs> hidden? <laughs> I went down to the supermarket today, especially to buy it. You fucking twat. And then when you're like, oh, I don't want to do the podcast, I'm like, you fucking dickhead. Oh, I don't have my pumpy. I, I can't, I can't, I can't Fantastic Four fucking it right now because it's like 10 meters away from me, so. Wait, wait Fantastic Four? Well, you know, I forgot what the guy's name is, Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic. That's it. Oh, yeah. So Shut up, Richard, you fucking tight. Hey, go, go steal my thunder again. Are you going to fucking pump around? No. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to... It's 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 stupid as fuck, but I was I was sitting in the car waiting for mum to get some shopping, Go on. Yeah. and I was looking at people, and I'm oh, like, I do. I'm like, dude, this is fucking insane! Holy shit! Everyone in the world has a different face. <laughs> I was like, I just I just like it's, it seems simple. Hang on, let me. Okay, what well, about the identical twins? Twins, yeah, but identical triplets. Slight, Slight differences, but practically everyone in the world has different faces. I, I, my mind was blown. I was like, "Holy shit!" It doesn't take much to blow your mind, does it? Well, no, not really. But I thought that was like insane. Just you never really think about it. It's like one of those things you never think well, about. Well, yeah, you do because you don't go walk down the street. Hey, hey, that guy looks exactly like me. Oh wait, no, I'm just well, looking in the mirror. Sorry, Gary. Is that you, Gary? Gary. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> That's they they, they, don't, have, they, they don't know what a different face looks like at all. Yeah. Well, that, oh, they they just know a different number. That's yeah. About it. Well, hey guys, just I'm gonna ask a question. How much? Like, pick a pick, pick, Stephen, pick a uh, body part. Penis. Justin, pick a body part. Fish. Pick a pick a body part. Uh, testicles. Yum. We we, we yes. match together. We make a. Diamond Cock and balls, mate. You just made this question a lot more difficult on yourself. Great. Oh, now well, answer, probably rather. Yeah. Yep, go ahead. Now, now answer this question. What is the minimum you would expect um, to be paid for them to be removed? Hmm. So oh, a million dollars. So if someone gave you a million dollars, you'd be I like, said, okay, I said a billion dollars. Okay, so a billion dollars, and then you can be like, okay, you can take my balls. Well, yeah. you can still get a, you can get a finger or something attached. It still works. Yes. So how much? Yeah, see, you see, Stephen? see, Stephen chose his penis. I chose my balls. Yeah, you've got. I don't know if there's anything for balls. Just, just, yeah, Justin's gonna turn into a chick. He's gonna like know what testosterone is. He's gonna be like, all that face play is gonna go. He's gonna look like <laughs> but, me. But, but you know what the sad thing is, Mitchell? Even if I dig my balls removed, I'll probably still have more facial hair than you. <laughs> That's what I said. Like, you would have, you you would have like no testosterone, so you look more like me. I would go for about. Um, Five thousand dollars. Really, <laughs> Jake? So I do like a couple of million at least. Get what? Is, it's like it's like you'll no longer have your original. No way would I also... do that for that. One. I'll do it for a couple million, but so, so I was like, if someone come up to you tomorrow, and he's like, he's like twelve million dollars. I want your dick. <laughs> oh, like yeah, Stephen yeah. to be Stephen to be like, sorry, I'm not a prostitute. <laughs> I'm a whore. I do it for free. Well, I, I don't know. If you, to be honest, like when it would actually come to a situation, I'd be like, "Now, fuck off." But right now, I'd say twelve, like a couple million. So oh, Stephen says, "So Stephen says, like a couple million to get his dick removed." And I say a billion to get my balls chopped off. Yeah, that just that, that just shows um, how yeah. everyone values their body parts. I like get, I can get a finger. <laughs> yeah, but it's, you're gonna lose a finger. Well, whatever. <laughs> he can get like a sausage. Like he's, he's gonna be like this. He's like, "Oh, I need to scratch my nose." <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I got a, I got a hypothetical question. Go on. It's hypothetical time with Steven. It's going to be a new category, I think, because we've been we've been. Now, what would you rather? A twelve-inch black man's penis in the butt, or How do you eat it in the butt? How do you eat it <laughs> in the butt? <laughs> Is this like South Park where Cartman discovered that if you eat with your butt, you shit at your mouth? No, well, 12 inch going up your, your rectum. Done. Yeah. Or two, and that, that's just in one day, just one time. 
or two six inch willies, but on separate occasions, but they have a 33% chance of having HIV. What do you think? 12. <laughs> That's a one stop all the way as well. To the boys. Well, it's rather that than have like a 66% of getting AIDS. <laughs> no, no, no. They only have 33 altogether. So like uh, whatever half of 33 is like. Yeah, no, but I still would rather not have AIDS. 16 and a half. You just, this is, oh, <laughs> okay, 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 so, uh, okay, Mitchell, I, I you're... really, I, I really can't believe how fast Justin answered that. Well, would I'd you rather have two other eights? I'd go with a 12. <laughs> you would get ripped. I would yeah, get ripped. Let's see if get ripped or get eights. <laughs> It'd be like hey. a gallon of blood just pour out of your eyes. <laughs> Justin, you will never be able to take a, a good shit ever again. <laughs> It'd just be like a, a, yeah, a, but if you get a backwards eights, you... vacuum. It'd be like a backwards yeah. vacuum. <laughs> You would sit on the toilet. You sit on the toilet. Just... Yeah. Well, while we're on the topic of like things going in your butt, okay, would you rather get fisted by Bruce Banner, but as his fist goes inside you, he turns into the Hulk, or oh. would, or would you rather be fisted by Wolverine with his claws out? Oh, mm. that's a hard one. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. <laughs> Well, think, it's death either way. I think less damage. Oh, I don't know. Hulk would, Hulk's probably bigger than oh, your your torso. Just, oh, you, you would feel your arms just explode. Like get. Wolverine <laughs> would, would, would suck. Like going. Like it'd be okay for Bruce Banner. Like maybe exactly. sort of much better than Wolverine anyway. To get one up there, but then once he expands. No, his claws are out as it's going up your. Yeah, back. but I'm saying it, it, Bruce Banner would be better than Wolverine at the beginning. Yeah, but, but then when then, Bruce Banner goes like Hulk, it'd be like your your butt would go from like that to like. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the most hardcore extreme insertions could pull that off. That's just. I refuse to. I'm I'm not answering any of these. I like I, they're both as bad as each other. I would probably go with Wolverine, hoping that he's being gentle. <laughs> just, it's Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> He's ca- he caresses me and just shoves. I I yeah, Wolverine. As he like, this is my swamp. <laughs> Shrek is life. They made an ogre game. They made a slender game with uh that. It's yep. it's ogre and you run around and you get um. What is it? Is it um, pies or? What is what is Shrek like? Pies? I don't know. Anyway, Donkey's dead as well. Like when you spawn, you see Donkey and he's dead. Just lying on the ground, and when when it's all ogre now. Yeah, when when um when uh Shrek gets close to you, it plays like um that the, the main Shrek song. Somebody her, 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 that song. <laughs> we have to play this game, Stephen. Yeah, it's it's retarded. I we think you can play, play or some shit like that. We have to play this game. That that that's coming to you guys. It means that we're going to be playing Shrek. It's yeah. I mean, it looks not very Shrek good. Man. Shrek yeah. Man. It's all ogre. I think that's what it's, it's called. It's all ogre now. That's what it's, it's called. It's all ogre. Is yeah, it it's Steam or it's, it looks it looks okay, I guess. <laughs> they need to <laughs> stop like... doing slenders. <laughs> it needs to just stop. It Wait, is... so, like, so like a Shrek slender. Yeah. Yeah. I was so was it... like, so does he like sneak up behind you and be like, "It's all." It's like this is my swamp. No, it's like. It, it, when he gets close, awesome. when he gets close, it starts to sound like somebody heard a bird, heard a bird was down a bird. Ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. It's so annoying when it plays after a while, like <laughs> over and over and over again. That song would get quite annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching. Uh, it'll be, be a bit like Saints Row Three. Was like, I need a hero. <laughs> <laughs> And it just like kept replaying the whole mission. You know what I hate? I hate what unfunny troll. You know people that go on YouTube and they're just full on, just straight out want to be trolls. Yep. Mm. There's this guy, and he, he, you'll like him, Justin. He's all against PewDiePie, but his his discussions are so, and his his his, his arguments. He he has no like information really. He just makes shit out of his ass. And he was talking. He was also talking about Destiny, which, by the way, I played the beta and. The beta was amazing. I want to play it right now. I really want to play it right now. The beta's finished. Yeah, I know, but that's why I said I want to play it right now, but I can't. It mm. seriously at the beginning of like at the beginning of the trailers and stuff, I was like, eh, 
I mean, Bungie's my favorite game developer. They, they're so good with their community and their games and everything and their story. But I was like, Destiny, yeah, it looks cool. I'm going to get it. But I wasn't really as hyped. But I played the beta and holy fucking shit. If you like Borderlands and Halo, then you're good to go. That game is great. The only thing about- is, you, in the beta, you seem to go back and forth a lot into the same area, but I know there's going to be heaps and heaps and heaps of, like, you can go to a lot of planets like Saturn, Venus, the moon, you can go to all the planets. It's going to be great. Yeah, just, the, just seeing the moon is a planet. Well, but, um, yeah. Talking about Halo and another game, if they had a baby, I showed Steven and Justin and, um, Henry in the link, in the link dub. I think we should. It's um, <laughs> a, it's a trailer called uh, from a game called Murder Miners. Murder Miners, sorry. Mm. Um, and the trailer you. <sighs> okay, so it's basically Halo Minecraft. Oh, no, no. Mm. If they had a baby, if they had a baby, and it. So like you would think in a trailer, it's the greatest trailer I think anyone has ever it's made. Smart. In, it's very smart. In, and it's like like when I say they had a baby, I mean you get to see them making a baby. It's there's, and there's some intense. Scenes going on there. It's the 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 song, the song, you know. Wait, are you playing Splinter Cell, Justin? Huh? Are you playing Splinter Cell? Splinter Cell. Behind you. That's my background. Oh, okay. Anyway, continue with the um, the trailer. So you, yeah. So it's yes. it's, a, it's, a, it's a, like a classic. They bump into each other around the corner thing. Yeah, and then continue. And it's love at first sight. Yeah, it's it's Master Chief and Steve from Minecraft. Mm-hmm. Minecraft. Yes, and um, but the game itself is actually quite fun. Me and Henry were playing it a little bit earlier um, yesterday. Oh yeah. And uh, so it was funny because Henry was looking at it and he was like, "Hey, uh, I don't get why this why like the trailer said like if it was Minecraft and Halo had a baby, it looks nothing like Minecraft or Halo. It looks more like Doom. Mm. Lo and behold, like there's an actual map in there for Doom, <laughs> but so he played it, and he's like, yeah, this game, I, I can see why they said it's like Halo, because the, the game plays a little bit like Halo, you know? It's got, you can have Infection, Capture the Flag, and, and also when it comes down to the gameplay, it's quite similar to Halo. Like, you've got um, Shotgun, you have, like, a an assault yeah. rifle, a BR. Well, I mean, that's not Halo, that's just... That's Sticky Grenades. Okay, that's Halo. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, that, I mean, that is Halo, Halo, but Shotgun and stuff is every But, like, the game. BR. The BR. Yeah, the BR, yeah. A, th- a three-shot BR. Well, that's in every game as well, but that, it's just called a BR in Halo. It's <laughs> anyway. <called a> BR. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Fuck you. And it's also really good because you can also damage blocks in the game. So it's like, hey, yeah, if you're cool. a zombie and there's people, like, hold up into a room, instead of coming in through the front, you yeah. can just, like, break b- the wall behind them. That's really cool. I like that. Yeah. That's it's actually, if the, the, I mean, the graphic, obviously, it's an, it's an indie game, and the graphics, you shouldn't really care about graphics in any game. And but if you do, the graphics are like mediocre at best, from what I saw. But that mechanic of being able to go wherever you want in the map by mining is really cool. It, it releases like really cool strategies that you could do. Where yeah, like one of the um, and it, some bitches go behind. And it's really good because a couple of the weapons have like power ups. Yeah. So, um, but it's like if you have a shotgun, what you can be, you can actually um, uh, kind of like. To morph into like a like you can put like a hologram over you that looks like the block you're standing on. Mm. So they, what um, I did was like you take out two glass blocks and you jump in and you crouch and you do that. No one will be able to tell. Oh really? That's like they like, run right yeah. past you. That's sort of like Metal Gear Solid, how you can like hide in a cardboard box. <laughs> no, but like <laughs> no, this is different because you sh- like you actually look like glass blocks. Yeah, but this is well, you can do that on Dark Souls. You can get us us. Bowl that turns into like a pot. <laughs> Pass that bowl around. <laughs> yeah, you, you look, you look like a vase. And <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, if 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 um, one of your enemies was Link or Zelda, you would be screwed. Yeah. <laughs> Smash. It's like, oh. <laughs> but oh, fuck the hero. Oh. What? Oh fuck. Eurovision. <laughs> what? Power read. Oh, jeez. Indians? Every time your camera goes off, Justin, you can see the splinter cell. You can see Sam Fisher's um, uh, goggles, and it looks like you go into night vision because it like, goes dark, then you see goggles, then you come back on. 
So she doesn't I never, I never, like, is, um, does he only have, like, one eye open when he switches, like, his goggles? Because, like, he flips it over like this. But think about it. It's, like, it's got three things, and you can change between, like, three or so different visions. Yeah, there's night vision, thermal vision, and EMP, sonic thing. Apparently that, um, I, my, my friend knows a guy that's in the army, and apparently yeah. night vision is hard as fuck to know where your teammates, like your squad, or tra- or traverse, like, the ground. You have no idea. Until you get used to it, you're like a fucking retard running around. I had no ah. goggles. Yeah, but this is, like, full military grade. Hey, so um, cool. so... Look, look, if I was to get night vision goggles, you know, it's like, okay, just, I would, I would definitely take him to the bed because just say if it's, um, the girlfriend's like, oh, you know what? I don't like the light on when we have sex. I just pray that, I, I just pray that she's not going to be like freaked out when my night goggles rub up against the chest. <laughs> like, it, it'd be like a hindrance. You'd be trying to get down below and you're like, you go to me and they're like, grr, grr. <laughs> Be like, no, because you can see what's happening. Yeah, You're not going to be like... Hey. In the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but that's why you wouldn't... <laughs> so, so, okay, so you get the general location of it, and then you flip the goggles off, and then you go in. Gotcha. <laughs> but why are you wearing night vision goggles? Things seem closer than they actually are. Yeah, that's why it's hard to... Right, that's, that's why, why the military guy was saying it's hard to know where the fuck you're going. That's why I will have my girlfriend wear them. Makes it look a <laughs> <laughs> makes it look badass. Why well, like going at it? Makes it look a little bit bigger, you know. Because I remember, I remember, like I tried to like wear them once, and I was like, oh, I don't really want to wake people up with the light. Hmm. So I was like, I like put my night vision goggles on. I was like standing at the door, like <laughs> <laughs> you crashed into shit, rolling down the stairs. You wake up in the morning and you've got like a broken leg and you can't move. And I was like, what the oh. fuck happened? I was I was just like standing there, so I got like oh, just like <laughs> Here's the handle. <laughs> That's your problem. I would laugh if like I would, I would laugh if it was like wake up and you just like see Justin he's like hit his head and he's like bleeding out on the ground with like his night vision goggles on, he's like <laughs> They were the um they're the ones I got with uh Modern Warfare too. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh that would that would actually be with hilarious. The, with their with the prestige edition. Uh, yeah. Um like it's kind of like um, I think unturned. I think, I think it's pretty it's, cool. Like, just, just with the prestigiousness for COD, the stuff you get with them are usually cooler than the games. <laughs> well, I mean, when you think about it, I mean, when you think about it, I mean, night vision goggles, hmm. a remote control yeah, car. Yeah. Exactly. Modern Warfare Two for me is where I went down. Like after that, Modern yeah. Warfare Three, and I, I, I would, I would like laugh if they just like, oh, he's a drone, and everyone gets to have a drone. Yeah, here's a here's a here's a, here's a light predator missile for you. So I, the theory behind it is, I don't think COD got um it, it didn't get like worse or whatever. It's just that it's the same shit over and over again. It just didn't change. Yeah, it that's didn't the thing. Change. That's, a, that's the thing. Well, that's well because it's interesting. This game is always like if you think about it, gamers like always complaining that they want it. Um, no, but the thing is, COD's not built for the age group that it's meant to be. It's built for, like, five-year-olds with, like, no skill in gaming at all. Well, it, no, it, that's how it's became, I think. Well, like, COD, COD G4 and World of War, for me, are my two favorite. World of War, more, more I mean, so. I but, mean, ad, uh, adults play Battlefield, kids play COD. Simple as that. It's kind of like, yeah, but it's kind, of, it's, it, it's kind of like, um, you had all the, like, all the audience that grew up with the early CODs like getting a little bit too old, they don't want to really play any of the CODs because they've played it before. Whereas the younger generation is like, oh, hang on, my older brother or the older kids are playing these yeah. Call of Duty games. It must be great. So the reason why there are so many kids playing Call of Duty now is basically because of us. Yeah. No, because it's, it's, it's we, because it's, like, we had the good Call of Duties and we were talking up. The reason why they love Call of Duty so much movie, yeah. is because they didn't play the early ones. Yeah. Um, they didn't play, they don't know what a good, they don't, they they only go off from the last COD they played, which was like if you're hey. the common age group. I think like they were born for Call of Duty Modern Warfare Hello. Three. Yeah. Okay. Ah, Sean, I'm busy. I got dinner soon, right? All right. Yeah, all right, I'll be on soon. All right. See ya. I'm busy. See ya. Um. Well, that was rude. Yeah, no. sorry, so, Call of Duty, yeah. Um, Justin, was, wasn't that rude? Yeah, that was rude. That was, that was quite... <laughs> sorry, 
Sorry, guys. <laughs> but, um, no, um, I was playing Halo, right? And I've, I've been playing Halo ever since it came out. So, five, uh, yeah. 2007, seven years ago. It's a very long time. Oh, uh, no, no. What am I talking about? Five years ago. It came out 2008, 9. So right, which Halo? 2008. Halo 5. Halo 3. Halo 3. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Anyway, so I'm a massive, obviously, obviously, I said I'm a massive fan of Bungie and Halo. But, um, I was talking about communities or subclasses, I guess, that ruin games. I feel as though MLG ruined Halo, but Halo created MLG. So, yeah. ma- obviously, Major League Gaming. I, I, I don't know, maybe Unreal Tournament and stuff like that. But for me, anyway, a lot of MLGs got big through Halo, for me, anyway, yeah. in my, in my yeah. age group, I would say, at the time. Mm. Um, the but, old Unreal Tournaments were good games, though. Yeah, but... um. Fucking, like, all the kids... Once again, Halo came to that thing where all the kids got on it, tried to be MLG, fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. Ah, you're a BK, and stuff like that. It, it sort of ruined Halo, but... Um, definitely nowhere near as worse as COD. Yeah. COD started um, out where it's like, it, it was all, like, you know... It was all cool and stuff, but then, yeah... The I kids, really don't like how people... I don't really like how people have come up with these whole little... Um, accomplishments that they would come up with themselves like oh you're not good unless you can do this yeah and it's like oh no scope oh no, tomahawk it's, it's like it's like, it's like just why does that make you better than me at this game you know no, just so no, this, is, this is how a cod play works you're 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 a crap cod play and she said in the corner with a shotgun the whole game <laughs> it's like that really that really pissed me off because i was playing games i was playing cod before and yeah. like i don't see why someone would pay all that money to buy a next gen console just to and buy cod just to sit in the corner. Yeah, it's. I, don't, I haven't. I haven't. I, I did. I didn't play much Ghost at all. I played probably mm. like twenty minutes, but I played Extinction. I and that's played it at all. It's um. I just get the cods for campaign these days now. Yeah. I don't give a shit about one on, on, Online this shit. It's, Too many kids. Yeah, but um, definitely cod. Uh, is definitely more either lone wolf or not nowhere near as tactical. As yeah. Battlefield, I, I like. To be honest, I, I'm not against one or the other. It's whatever you pick, but I prefer yeah. Battlefield. Battlefield, Battlefield. To be honest, Battlefield no, Four, I, I really don't like. They need to go back to open maps where there's cover in between open areas instead of. I don't really like the city at all. I don't. I don't know. Battlefield Three for me was a lot better, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I like Battlefield Three. Battlefield Three is good. Bad, Bad Company was best, but Battlefield Three out of between four <laughs> is better. Talking about um, other things, it's uh, have you guys heard of the new Halo movie? Yeah, Being, no, um, directed by Ridley Scott. Wait, yeah, exactly there's actually the wait, is this like is this like the one that they announced about like five years ago? They got cancelled. Uh, no, like, no, 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 that was ODST. Uh, uh, well, because they're doing because Last of Us is getting its own movie hmm. yeah. as well as Uncharted. Game but the same. thing is, it, but the thing is, is we're getting like the direct the director of um, the Halo movie is Ridley Scott, yeah, the guy who exactly made Blade Runner. The producer, yeah. You know the guy who made Blade Runner? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like... What? This... Sourcenegger was Blade Runner, wasn't he? No, oh, it was oh. Ridley Scott. Oh, you're thinking of... Oh. Um, uh, Blade Runner I... was Harrison Ford, but you're thinking of... Um, oh, what the fuck is that movie where he, he loses his memory and then he gets it back by going to the... Total Recall? Total Recall, yeah. Are you thinking of that movie? Sort of. Uh, it was... Blade, I Blade Runner is no. the one where they're like, they don't know... Most people are like mach- robots slash machines. No, 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 no. Blade Runner is when um a, like five or five or so like android dudes yeah, androids, um right. ex- escape from their spaceship and they come to Earth trying mm-hmm. to find their creator. Yeah, they well, so it sounds like uh you know Fallout Three was Harkness escaping from the <laughs> common lost. No, because it's a, rend- <laughs> yeah. a rendition of um Frankenstein kind of thing. Yeah, we covered it in um in English. our English class. Yeah, so. That's where we watched Blade Runner, and um, it was actually a really, really good movie because yeah, it, it. Yeah, it, 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 let's let's get off literature anyway. But um, so it's going to be a pretty decent. It's uh, I, I don't know who the protagonist is going to be Locke. because it's set between Halo Four and Halo Five. What is it? That's the. Um, uh, it's Lock. That's. Lock is the yeah, new character. Lock is the new. Um, uh, Lock. Uh, what is, is he? The new uh, Spartan players in Halo Five. And what? You Spartan. Every time, like, look, look, this is this is fact. Every time um, Halo has tried to introduce a new protagonist, yeah, it's gone no. Well, so you look at this. To be fair, cool. Sergeant Forge, 
I think that's his name um, in Halo Wars. Well, even though he died, no one from that game is really known now. Like, you don't go, oh, Sergeant Forge. Or, like, the Arbiter in Halo Wars doesn't get a mention. Next is the ODST dude from Halo ODST. Oh. Next is Noble Six. That dude had a name in ODST? Yeah, I, I don't even know if he had a name. I don't even remember. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, and then you also had Noble like Six. Malcolm in the middle. Malcolm in the middle. The family didn't have a last name. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, uh, true. I mean, like they they can bring in a new character, but it's probably only gonna get one game unless they force. That's one thing that I don't want them to do is force a new character on because people play Halo because of Master Chief, you know. Yeah, but true. at the same time, Master Chief is getting too old. I feel that the um that it might actually like as much as I love Halo, I do think that it might decline a little bit in the st- in the lore because even though I'm I, I'm kind of a fanboy of Master Chief, you know, but at the same time I do realize he's going to he's getting a little bit old. So they, this is what companies need to realize that they need to know when it's time to stop making a game. Sony need to not make God of War anymore, and Microsoft need to stop making Halo. Well, Halo's got one more after this. Exactly, and how crap that going to be? No, well, it's been made by three, four, three industries. Easily, and Halo Halo's easily one of the biggest got one of the biggest i guess it's law or backstory and everything it's got yeah probably it's, one of the it's, biggest it's going to be very hard justin like just because of halo has such an in-depth they, have, they haven't even it. touched the fucking like they've barely they, all the story they've got they've practically touched like probably 20 percent, 30 percent. not even dude yeah because there's, there's all this so thing, much you know because saying? at the same time you've got you've got the human and covenant army yeah. But they haven't even touched the the um, UNNC and the Rebellion Army. Yeah, you got the Brutes, that... you got fucking Grunts. No, 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 no. Before, before even um, the UNSC went to war with oh. the Covenant, Humanity Against Covenant, yeah. um, you get they touch on a bit of it in Reach. Um, the Rebels were going around and actually there was a war between the UNNC and the Rebels. Yeah. And um, so the outer colonies of the human um, species were rebelling against the inner ones. So, like... Reach and stuff like that. We're going against Arcadia and stuff like that. Heavily populated, high rich, high maintenance planets and like people because there's an extreme difference in socioeconomical status between the two different groups. So you got like the rich, yeah. um, military trained, and then you got the poor farmers. Yeah, and they're going to war with each other. So they haven't even touched any of that. Before the Spartans, before the Spartans even came in, because the original reason they made Spartans was to help the UNNC take out all the um, rebels. Do you know, and they haven't even touched any yeah, of it. Yeah, it's, it's, the story is amazing. But do you know one thing? Mm-hmm. Halo... Oh, we've got a... Uh, <laughs> radio. Um, Halo... Um, Halo is the, one of the only games that's hasn't got much wildlife like i think reach had the ostriches mm. type yeah the things. um you know, what, yeah. you know what's gonna happen though with halo what is, justin uh, with halo what's gonna happen is you're quiet they'll right? do the next, yeah they'll do the next halo they'll, then they'll finish it and then what will happen is activision will buy it <laughs> no, and then, no. then, we'll get a, then we'll get a yearly halo no no in same place of call it no, they'll they'll get rid of Call of Duty and they'll replace it with Halo yeah, as but a yearly. Halo. But like, think about it. What are the wildlife, or maybe some birds and stuff? But the ostriches are the only main ones that you can like kill. I haven't. No, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah, that and that's the only wildlife I've seen in Halo. It's, it, oh, well, you got the you got the bird things in Guardian. Well, I mean, like that's not enemy. Like just wildlife roaming around. Yeah, like there isn't a whole lot, but. Uh... It's crazy. Like, I mean, yeah. you don't really notice it. I just noticed it then, really, that we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. But um, one of the things is 343 Industries. I didn't really enjoy um, the Halo 4 campaign as much as it, I, I, it, sh- like it, sh- it, it wasn't as good as it could have been. It felt a little bit too staged. Mm-hmm. It felt a little too interviewly. So it's like, it was like, um, so you get through one bit, and then it would be like, okay, we're going to go into a different environment, and we'll go into a different... And, the, like, the shift felt a little weird. So, like, you would start off on a ship, and then you would start on, like, in, like, this... Um, in the middle of, a, like, a, the center of the planet and stuff, and there's, like, goo and shit everywhere. And then, um, like... I don't know. I didn't for have the, trouble with that. I, def- um, I, just, I liked it a lot. I just... I've, I, the multiplayer, I, I don't like the clunkiness. Like, when you hit someone, it sounds like you fucking... It just sounds shit. 
And you guys, I didn't like the mods very much in Halo 4. Have you guys heard who's directing the Last of Us movie? Who? Uh, Sam Raimi, the guy who made the Spider-Man trilogy. Oh, yeah. The good, the good Spider-Man. Oh, okay. Wait, did you say uh, was... Last of Us? The... No, the Last of Us movie. Yeah, they're talking about Ellie might be uh, from Game of Thrones. Might be... Um... Arya. Arya, yeah. That could work. But they want, they, they want the actual voice actor for Ellie to be the actual Ellie in the movie, but she's too old. Yeah. I mean, Arya would suit because she's like badass like Ellie was. Yeah. Arya is pretty cool. And she looks sort of similar, to be honest. Yeah, kind of does. A, a little bit smaller face, but, but still she's... Well, yeah. Still she's badass. Yeah. But I wonder who would be... Like, like all these um, video games that get in their own movies and stuff like that. I wonder if it's a good idea. No, good um, as much as people would want to see these games if they had a movie, at the same time, you think about it, like, you've got all these great movies and they'll turn into video games. And um, then you, a couple of... And, I mean, when you go back to the movies that have already been turned into... Or like, games that have already been turned into movies, Mortal Kombat, hmm. Street Fighter... It, to be honest, it doesn't... I, the way I feel is it doesn't work as well because movie doesn't. and video games are too differently paced. Type yeah, genres. like, the games... Games, games are like, for, like, a movie just stretch out a lot. Yeah, and movies have to put and, shit closer together to keep entertainment. Yeah, and, and the point about the game is that they need that length to get the story yeah. in, otherwise it just, it just doesn't make sense. And also, Halo, it's hard to do because Spartans, to be honest, every time I've seen a Spartan in a movie or a series, they always look corny. Like, it's sort of hard yeah. for me to get a Spartan that looks normal and meant to be there, but... Because it's so far, it's because it's so far fetched. I guess it's sort of hard to no no or see see a Spartan armor that's yeah. not corny. Yeah, because it's like um, it isn't because you would need an actual metallic suit. Yeah, and, and those things and like an actual Spartan suit is if, if you were to get into one of them, there is no way you could physically move. Yeah, honest to be honest, if you want to watch uh, like a Halo movie, just watch Red vs Blue. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's more comedy based. That, that, that's as that's as good as you're gonna get. Yeah, mm. but um, I didn't. I haven't seen any. I haven't, I haven't really watched Red vs Blue. I've seen maybe episodes. Oh, you have to watch I season know, I was eleven. I'm thinking of doing it, but there's a lot. Yeah, like I, I don't. I didn't really enjoy season ten because it was more anime. Mm. Season eleven, say not right back to the original one where it's like, oh, they're re- they're basically just going around and recording gameplay. Yeah, that's cool. Um. Like, the later ones, I, I really got turned off the, um... Because m- some people really enjoyed it. They're like, oh, my God, look at all this, like, anime stuff. Animation, it looks so cool. Yeah, that pretty yeah cool. but at the, um... Good. No, because it was, like, an actual anime, though. Yeah, animation. I know, like, actual fighting scenes and stuff. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh, it doesn't quite fit with Halo, because, like, the point of... The reason I watch Red vs. Blue is for the humor only. Yeah. I don't, like, I don't want to watch action. I want to I want to laugh watching Red vs. Blue. Maybe that's why they changed it, then. Yeah, but they went back to humor in season eleven, and I'm loving it. Yeah, that's cool. But um, I'm I'm, I'm just waiting for all the Rooster Teeth fans to hear this and be like, <laughs> "You don't like I'm, I mean, season ten? Rooster Teeth don't like that. I mean, definitely, definitely. I'm a, I'm a PewDiePie fan, but PewDiePie fans are little bitches. <laughs> just, just like just like PewDiePie. Oh, it's oh my god. Yeah, what? I'm going to reiterate this thing that Justin is the most bitchiest person in Earth Duck. They're definitely PewDiePie. Have, like, if you say something against PewDiePie, they'll be like... And, yeah, I mean, Justin everyone, just did. Everyone has their just point. Did. Yeah, I, I, like, everyone has their point. I don't understand why people have to go, yeah, you're a fucking idiot. You don't like the video, go fuck yourself. Uh, you, like, if, if you go out of your way and say, oh, man, these guys fucking suck, then, yeah, you're a dick. But if you go, oh, man, I just didn't like the animation. I don't, like you said, I don't think it fit in well. They'd be like, oh, yeah, man, you know what? You got your opinion. That's cool. But I like it. So um, just, yeah, yeah. I, I like it. And you don't have to go, go fuck yourself. Some people are just hey, shitty. Cunt. Bruce T fans, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I love Bruce Teeth fans. But on, on YouTube, they, they, they are a bit bitchy, to be honest. Yeah, I hate Jack. Well, I hate Michael. I hate who fucking is, Jeff. Who isn't bitchy on YouTube? But you, need to go to the, you need to go to the actual Bruce Teeth website to experience the community. I've seen can you believe someone actually said, oh, Lindsay's in this video, I'm not going to watch yeah. it now. Yeah, or, or um, Kerry, too cringeworthy. That's a great, that's a great hashtag. <laughs> cringeworthy. <laughs> the cringe. I don't know. 
I don't mind them. I, I, I like. I don't mind if they had new people into um, achievement hunter. But like, as as long as it's not like an, a regular thing where it's like, hey, yeah. we're gonna do a let's play with like eight people in it. Yeah, it's not gonna be interesting. I, it's I gonna don't be like, think, I don't think anyone should be in Minecraft other than the originals. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they. Sometimes they. Well, can, like... if it if it was like a massive thing, if it was like an actual yeah. like um, like t- team against team, yeah. like a four v four, I would. But... Yeah. But like, if it was just like, oh, hey, we're gonna we're gonna like see who can um, get the most resources, then definitely don't have any of the others except the originals. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But um, should we should we should, we should start wrapping up? It's gonna be a short one tonight, but um, uh, it wasn't that short, was it? No, uh, it's it's been a good about half an hour or so. Yeah, but um, yeah, I don't, we we have to wrap up because we got some of us have got stuff to do. But um, so sorry about no quack to duck that. But uh, Mitchell, are you gonna do this morning then? Do it in the mic. <laughs> but um, what? yeah. So so sorry for the short podcast. But uh, yeah, we got we got some business to deal with. We still love you though. We still love you. We love you long term. We love you long term. So um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Subscribe. Go. And don't forget to drink Powerade. And Powerade. Official sports don't. drink of the All Blacks. What, what do you want to say, Michelle? You're saying please don't ever do that again. What? Sing. Do you feel like I was trying to be Barney from... Um... No, not Barney. What's... Yeah, Barney the Dinosaur? Okay. I scope you. <laughs> the pedophile. Anyway, guys. See ya. <laughs>